Congratulations. I know you're always kind of your harshest critic, but that was a pretty thorough performance, I thought. Uh, how would you evaluate things tonight? I am my harshest critic, but you cannot uh, be upset with a win against a guy like Demir. It wasn't about the performance. If you can get over on a guy like Demir, that's something to be proud of. That dude is not, no, not ranked number 12 in the world. He is so much better than that. They just put him at 12 for some weird reason. So I'm very, very happy with it. 30-27, uh, 30-26, I'm happy with it, man. I know you have the utmost confidence in yourself as well, but were even you maybe a little bit surprised? At, I don't want to say easy in there tonight, but, I mean, dominant performance on your part. No, I don't think so. Uh, I think that I knew what could happen. And then when things start to go your way, I think that it, it's just – it just goes to show the improvements I've made, man. What did I say on media day? Everything was about showing the UFC that you can put me in these high-level fights against guys that I was an underdog against, and I can pull off these wins. I can perform. It's not that I'm just squeaking out a win. I can perform if you put me in these positions. Yeah. It kind of felt like you were uh, getting towards one of those third-round submissions again as well, right, where you're wearing them out and you're, you're finally getting there. Were you, were you frustrated or maybe shocked that he just wouldn't go away? No, what did I tell you? I told you I was expecting three rounds, and I, I was. He's one of those guys that you, you go for something, and then he, he gets away, and he ends up winning the round back, or even worse, getting the finish, man. You, you have to be safe with these guys. These are the best guys in the world, in the top weight class in the world. There, there is not a harder weight class than 155. There isn't. And you could say 135 because of all the former champs that are up there, but it's just, it's thinner, right? The top 15 might look the same, but everything outside the top 15 isn't even close. Yeah. Uh, the call, I don't want to say call outs, the respectful challenges of where you think you should be and where you're going. I mean, what do you see as your path to the top? I, mean, it, I know you're not necessarily in a rush, but I know you believe you can be there. How do you see your path to the top? I don't, I don't really know. I think everybody's got a different path. Islam had kind of a weird path where he fought really good guys and then some not so good guys and then some really good guys and then some not so good guys and then looked great against the champion. Um, you, you got guys like Gamrot who is fighting literally anybody. He just called out Rafael uh, Faziv. Who the hell wants to fight that guy? Like, win, lose, or draw, you're coming out with a closed eye. And my guy, Gamera, is calling that dude out. What a G, man. Calls out any tough fight. Everybody's path is different. I think I just got to get back into the gym on Monday and get better. Has it dawned on you now? I mean, like, all of your fights moving forward are going to be against the absolute best of the best. After a fight like tonight, you're only going to be facing killers moving forward. Does that change your mindset at all? There, I'm not going to lie to you. That was in my mind in the back. That was like, dude, this isn't a pike dream anymore. This isn't something that you're telling your mom as a high schooler anymore. You are this close to becoming what you said you were going to be in eighth grade. So, like, do we really want this? And the answer is yes. Yeah, and, and it was, I thought it was so – you almost put pressure on yourself. You, know, you talked about earlier this week, you said, if I don't win a world title, like, this is all for nothing. Like, is that – I mean, it seems like unnecessary pressure. Like, you're, you're succeeding already, right? What are, you, what are you talking about, unnecessary pressure? Like, the pressure is what makes us. You know, like there's going to be pressure. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really into World War II movies, and I just watched this movie, uh, Hacksaw Ridge, and they literally have to climb up this giant wall to get shot at by, uh, by the Germans, and or, I'm sorry, the, the Japanese. And it's like, what I'm doing is not anywhere close to that. You know, you've got real people going through real problems. This is just competition, man. We as men are built for competition. This is what we were built to do. And one of the reasons why people are so unhappy today is because they aren't pushing themselves in these situations. Last thing for me, uh, was that just a term of endearment for your wife there? I think we all got a, a laugh there. With a, love you, bitch. <laughs> I, I love my wife more than anything on this planet, and I absolutely love being married. It, it's, I, I was just telling one of my friends, and I, I know this wasn't your question, but I'm going to tell you anyway because this is my moment. Uh, I was just telling one of my friends, you know, no matter how close you are with somebody that's a friend, when they have a problem, you feel bad for them, but you don't lose any sleep. Nobody ever loses any sleep. If my wife has a problem, I lose sleep over it. If I have a problem, she loses sleep over it. It's so nice to not have to go into our problems by ourselves anymore, man. I'm, I'm very for family. I'm very for uh, marriage. I'm very for one woman, one man, like, or one whatever, you know, do whoever you're into. You just, you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm for that and family and, and competition and, and personal accomplishment. So, man, I love that bitch. <laughs> hey, Grant. Um, 
in a lot of your promos, you said you want people on Sunday to be to be like, that guy's good. Damn, 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 that kid's good. That kid's good. Do you, do you feel like they're going to say that on Sunday? <clears throat> I do. I think come Sunday they're going to say, that kid's good. Problem is I'm probably going to be out for another nine months and they'll forget about me. <laughs> um, there is a big lightweight fight coming up next week between Jalen Taylor and Jalen Taylor and Dan Hooker. Do you want the winner or loser of that fight? Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm definitely down for that, man. Um, I'm in one of those situations where I just kind of want to uh, I want to get back into the gym. I got to work on some stuff. We we saw some stuff in this fight. I need to work on uh, my boy Tiago Moises. He's got a big fight coming up, so I'm going to get back into the gym on Monday and I'm going to help him out just like he's helped me out every single camp. And honestly, I love it when he fights right after me because that gives me a reason to get back into the gym. We talked about fighting teammates on, on Wednesday, but like you're in a division where you have a few teammates in, in the division. So like if they come with you like with a fight, you know, Gamera or Sarukian or, or Moicano, like is that a fight you'll take? I have no interest in fighting Moicano. I have no interest in fighting Gamera. Uh, Sarukian is on the table, but it's got to be the right circumstances. Dude, I, I train with these guys. I, I saw these guys before. I, look, I, I'm not fighting Moicano. That's, he's, he's a close friend of mine. That's not happening. Um, I, I really like Gamrot a lot. He, he's a close friend of mine. I really enjoy training with him. I'm not really interested in fighting him. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. In your post-fight interview, um, you mentioned Islam Ahachev, and you called him the GOAT. Who else is on your lightweight Mount Rushmore? Khabib, Islam, uh, Frankie. I'd put Ben Henderson in there as well, and I think that one not because he was so great, but just because as a kid I really enjoyed watching him fight. Uh, you guys are going to hate me for this one, but I put Gray Maynard in there too. Just because of his, two, his last two fights with Frankie Edgar, growing up as a kid, I watched those over and over and over and over. Absolutely love those fights, so it's hard for me not to put him in there. I know he's not that good, but I, I like the guy, man. And uh, why do you think uh, Islam is a GOAT for you? I'm, I'm sorry? Why do you call Islam the GOAT? Oh, man, come on. He's, I don't think the dude, the dude's lost like one round, and it was against Volkanovski in Australia, man. Like, you cannot, look, I believe I'm going to be one of the best in the world. I believe that I can beat Islam on any given night, but you have to give a man credit where it deserves. That dude is good, really good. Thank you.